Today is the 1st of July, 2022. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. So I'm gonna go over some <clears throat> factors that I've discussed briefly in certain prior official YouTube videos of mine before to a different level possibly in certain references. So after the Stony LaRue concert situation in March of 2013 at Cowboys Dance Hall, which is obviously after the situations from 2008 through 2012 and 13 of the situations regarding McCoy Elementary School of Carrollton, Texas, of Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, and the law firm that in that capacity of that I've brought forward in regards of prior journal blogs in reference to the Ornery PSA on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. I'd given a bunch of warnings in regards of people throughout the areas of the state of Texas, most specifically in regards to the needless problems that were occurring in reference to my son and my daughter at McCoy Elementary School. It started with how they didn't like my hair, they didn't like my tattoos, they didn't like anything about me realistically. It was just the, th there was nothing that actually appeased those people because those people are just that type of bigotry in my opinion. They found out that I was medically retired from the army and they automatically had whatever assumptions they had in that particular reference. They had issues in regards of the situations as to my son and my daughter's biological father, not in reference to the J.C. Penny pictures, of course. No, 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 no. Just because of the having signed the dotted line. That was it. And so they allowed wrongly their political viewpoints to involve their school work regarding being a staff member of McCoy Elementary School because that was the starting point. I hadn't met any of the supposed to be adult volunteers at that point. It literally was as soon as just filling out the registration paperwork regarding those types of people. And so it was in the year 2008, it was before the election had occurred, so on and so forth. And so don't pretend that that's not bigotry as to any capacity of. Then they had their snobby attitude in reference to having been in San Antonio. When adding the fact that I was born and raised in New Jersey, it was just a catastrophic situation, in my opinion, that was going to occur when looking back now in the year 2022. I made attempts to explain this to people in the civilian scuba diving sector as far as what they consider as recreational lazy scuba diving. And so how everything had went from that point in time of about April 2008, maybe May of 2008, was just one problem after another because of their viewpoint. Literally, the principal was a problem, the office staff was a problem. I hadn't met any of the teachers yet. And so it was literally the day of filling paperwork out that they had those types of assumptions. I've dealt with this a multitude of times before and afterwards needlessly. And so their bigotry is what it translates to because of the definition of what bigotry is. So in regards of not just what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle, had I brought this forward, some people didn't even know where Carrollton, Texas was, and they lived in Dallas. Then there were people in the Fort Worth area that didn't know where Carrollton, Texas was. 
And so it's in the DFW area. And so those particular individuals, and you can look at the population numbers for the years of 2008, 2009, and 2010, and my hair was much brighter in the color shade compared to because of the problems getting the correct volume as well as the problems getting the correct color. Any continued needless situation of drama from those individuals continues to prove where those people have just been those types of people. They're not anything less than what exactly they are. And so whatever their descriptions, as far as is what their descriptions are, they had a problem with the fact that I purchased my house in the area. They had a problem with the fact that I looked at, there just wasn't anything in Carrollton, Texas that wasn't a bigotry, in my opinion. And again, it literally started well before the school in reference to the neighborhood, though it really kicked up at McCoy Elementary School. So then my son dealt with situations needlessly, my daughter dealt with situations needlessly, and no matter what, those people just were as they were. And while they gossiped, because that's just how certain things are, I suppose, regarding those types of areas, it made Crystal Lake High School look less dramatic for those who would have that understanding regarding Carrollton, Texas, in my opinion. And so while those people in Carrollton, Texas were as they were, I dealt with what I dealt with. They didn't pay attention to the fact that my son and my daughter, who were in elementary school, their biological father had literally died earlier that year. They had absolutely no humanity whatsoever in that capacity. It's just the facts because the proof of. They had absolutely no humanity in regards of the after effects of my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 because the facts are as the facts are. They had the nerve to think that they had a right to infringe on my privacy, infringe wrongly yet again in regards of my constitutional rights, and they had the ways that they chose to be. They didn't have to be that way. That was how they chose to be. That was of their own free will choice. And so if they have a prior set of patterns of behaviors, that additionally shows that. Anything that they continued after the point of when I had to put my house on the market, because of all of the situations, if they thought that I was just gonna, I don't know what they thought I was just gonna do, but I wasn't gonna just allow those situations to occur. And so in certain people's ignorance, they believe that any publicity is good publicity because of whatever pop culture references of. Yet when the reality is that the facts are the only way it's good publicity is if you are capable to fix and repair the damages you cause needlessly to actually take accountability and responsibility for your stupidity, there is no good publicity in that particular situation until that actually is fixed and repaired correctly, which that has not been done in any capacity. So while they had absolutely no humanity in regards of the work that I needed to take care of either because they didn't pay any attention that I'm a legal widow, despite the fact that we had been separated for over a year and a half, but they wouldn't listen to paying attention to common sense because of their own ignorance, my opinion. And so while they chose as they chose, that anger inside of me, 
seem to um, be as it had. And I did the best I could to remain as calm despite each and every needless problem. And so in comparison to when moving in there to actually focusing on my work in regards of the time frame of the attack on the 11th of September in 2001, instead of having the capability to actually do so, I dealt with their bigotry. And that's my opinion. The proof is as the proof is. Any needless problem, any hesitation, anything that is not considered what I would consider as something positive only reproves it time and time and time again. So anything at all, if there is not anything positive that actually occurs and it's any way associated to those people and or their connections, the proof is as the proof is. And so while those types as to making the San Antonio Northwest stay at home moms group sort of types in those capacities, those types are those types. It's not bigotry when there's the pattern of behavior in and throughout their history. And so while those individuals stirred up needless drama, in comparison to having any humanity whatsoever, I had to constantly fight needlessly. Had to, con and I don't mean physical fights, because you know, those types. No, 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 I had to constantly argue, constantly debate, constantly, in comparison to ever having the capacity to just breathe and have a few minutes, or you know what would have been better, as to actually having the capability to relax for a little bit. You know, I was just pregnant when I was awake from my coma less than a year and a half to delivery from my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. Did those people have any intellectual capability to put that together? Obviously not is the answer for this sermon lecture monologue. And no, I didn't need their involvement if they had put that together because of their fanatic types. I actually had everything taken care of, had everything perfectly aligned. I did not need them or need their involvement. I had everything in order in comparison to what they had in their bigoted thoughts and their bigoted actions and their bigoted choices, in my opinion. Again, the proof is as the proof is. And so in comparison to just having the capability to relax, in comparison to just getting situations taken care of as I actually had needed, I dealt with this needless small town and not even little drama, just, just nothing that was actually a system. And so the irony of those types when they go up to the tri-state area, they're always the ones that try our last nerves every single time because they think that they're special because of either their mommy and their daddy, whatever capacity, and or they think that because in a small town, there's somebody big in comparison to realizing that the tri-state area is not the same as whatever pop culture reference. So of course I dealt with the same thing as in Crystal Lake South High School. I know how people are from New Jersey. From these little whatever types in comparison. And so, you know, it was, it was just one problem after the other from the time frame of moving in to what was my home. 
in comparison. So yes, I had met the prior owner as far as that was concerned, the female and whatever daughter. And so instead of having any human decency, whatever their opinions were, is whatever their opinions were, because obviously, since they had requested from the realtor to meet with me after I paid for the house, those types of those needless problems. One of those, let it go, grow up. That's nice that you had whatever in your childhood. Guess what? It's time to grow up. My son and my daughter didn't need to deal with that sort of needless drama. I did not need to deal with that needless drama. And no, if in regards of them thinking of themselves so haughtily and so vain in those particular factors as to how they would think in some capacity, hypothetically, if they thought I was supposed to recognize them. Well, I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 I was still, at that point in time, still had that subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. It hadn't fully dissipated yet out of the MRI and CAT scans. So those types as to those needless problems. And then the nosiness of those types in comparison to any actual human decency, in my opinion. And so then, you know, in 2009, I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. And of course, those types would continue their bigotry as they had, because those people in scuba diving actually thought that it was luxury as to my style of scuba diving. They actually had in whatever ignorance that my scuba diving was actually luxurious. What would, let me go over what actually would have been luxurious. When completed, having earned my 26 scuba diving certifications, and as I had actually planned, in comparison to what I had to deal with, would have been luxurious to actually be capable to have the ceremony in the capacity that I had actually been working towards to plan. That's why I built my home the way I built my home. I knew what I was gonna handle. I was gonna do it the way I needed to. And instead, those types, in comparison to anything that would actually have been worthwhile, didn't need their choices, I didn't want their choices, I didn't desire their choices, and I didn't prefer their choices. I had exactly what I needed to get done. I had all of the announcements that I was going to make if I had the capacity in the year of 2009 to actually do so. But instead, those bigoted types, in my opinion, as to their issues as to their failures to humanity in every capacity capable to be proven, in my opinion. So then, then <clears throat> I'd begun modeling because since the civilian recreational scuba diver sector wasn't taking me seriously at that point in time because of the similar words as to McCoy Elementary School and the staff and all those people. You know, it just is as it is. They thought of themselves as highly as they had. So in comparison to what would have actually been considered luxury, again, I don't understand how people could think that in regards of I set up my camping tent to camp out, and then, yeah, sure, okay, regarding some stakes here and there, that's not luxury to me out there at all. Not when I still had work to do, not when they were literally wasting my time in comparison to doing anything worthwhile. So instead of actually doing anything worthwhile, having actual intelligence, that being out there was not a luxury. It just wasn't. 
What would have been a luxury would have been having stakes in an enclosed area in comparison. You know, inside of a building where you have an actual table, but they were so savage that they actually thought it was luxury. They thought so highly of themselves regarding the civilian recreational lazy scuba divers that they thought I would view spending time outside at a campfire as luxury in comparison to what I actually would know as luxury. Again, my biological father had been certified by the school of Bulova to work on Bulova watches, Seiko watches, Rolex watches, Movado watches, the clocks you put on the wall, grandmother clocks, grandfather clocks. He was certified to be capable to certify gemstones. He was capable to create jewelry, fix and repair jewelry. Excuse me, I actually know what luxury actually is. But those types actually accused me of the luxury life in comparison to what I actually would know would be actual luxury. There was absolutely nothing luxurious whatsoever about sitting on a camp log while having my tent in the area, sleeping bag, so on and so forth, after doing the work that I had in reference to each one of my scuba diving certifications, as well as what I actually needed to do in comparison. Absolutely nothing luxurious. So maybe for those types, they feel that camping, you know, is some hippy dippy crap as to luxury. No, no. They had their issues in regards of my MREs because I wasn't there for luxury. I had the stuff that I actually needed to do. In comparison though, their viewpoint so askewed. And so while it was just ridiculous how those people could actually think that going to Clear Springs and then camping out was considered luxury. Sure, maybe if you don't actually know what luxury is, maybe that would be considered luxury to you. If you think that going and camping out in Huntsville Quarry in Texas is considered luxury, well then I don't know what you would consider as actual luxury if you think that's luxury. If you think that camping out at Lake Travis is considered luxury, I don't know what's wrong with you at all whatsoever. I don't view that as luxury. I would view that as work. Sure, I didn't graduate basic training. That's nice. That's why it's work. So what's actually considered as luxury is not a damn thing regarding any of my work in scuba diving. The closest that would ever be considered as so-called luxury would be when I went to Cozumel and could actually, you know, relax inside with real furniture, at a real table with people sitting in chairs and stuff like that. That, not the most luxurious, but far more luxurious than being at a campsite. Uh, it, it, so it just is the facts. The, and, and don't pretend that my scuba diving out in Florida was luxurious either, because even there, I still had responsibilities just as I had responsibilities when I was in Cozumel. So luxury obviously has failed regarding paying attention to details, in my opinion regarding those individuals. And so while whatever their viewpoint of, I know how people are from New Jersey, um, where I was born and raised in New Jersey, yes, the whole state of New Jersey is very multifaceted. Where I grew up, um, Manalapinites would make fun of all of those Carrolltonites, forever thinking 
that would ever be luxury. Mm hmm They would, Manalapanites would look at Carrolltonites that would ever complain about and try to claim that that was luxury scuba diving and make fun of them relentlessly. Like to a level that would make Carrolltonites cry. I, I, I mean like cry, cry, not pretty cry, you know, the, <laughs> but like the ugly cry, the ugly cry. <laughs> high five because yeah no uh-uh those those types as far as the carol tonight's no 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 i i don't know how anybody could ever consider that as a luxury scuba diving whatsoever i put all of my gear into my own car i drove all of my gear no, let me let me go over this okay so I took my son and my daughter over to my ex-sisters-in-law so that way they could have time with their cousins. You know, it was their, their biological father's family side as far as that's concerned. So they got time with that. And then I went back to Carrollton, packed my car with all of my scuba dive gear. And then I drove myself out to whichever location. Then I checked in to whichever location. I arranged my own camp. I put up my own tent, I arranged my own sleeping bag and stuff like that. I got my scuba dive gear ready and so on and so forth. I don't, I don't know how anybody considers that luxury. And then at the end of the weekend, then I would pack up all my scuba dive gear. I would go and pack up my tent. I would pack my stuff into my car all by myself because there wasn't anybody that ever had chivalry there at all whatsoever. And then I put everything together to then go and drive back to Carrollton to go unload my own car into my house to then go and get everything else ready so that way I could go drive over back to Fort Worth White Settlement to spend time with my ex-in-laws. Again, remember, this is my ex-in-laws. And then pick up my son and my daughter, then go back to my house in Carrollton. I don't know who would ever be so ignorant to ever think that that would be considered as luxury, but what lack of intelligence that would be. In my opinion, I don't know how anybody could ever think that that was easy, simple, or enjoyable at all. And so when I went to go and take care of stuff, the complaints, some more, the little yipping, those little yippers that just didn't ever actually know what real work is. And so while I made every attempt to take care of everything as best as I could, in comparison, just yip, 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 bitch, 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 exactly as my biological father said, just a bunch of bitches. Because all girls do is bitch, 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 bitch. All girls do is either bitch about what another individual is doing, doesn't matter, male or female, they just bitch because they're just girls. And then if they don't bitch about what somebody else is doing, then they bitch about what somebody else is wearing or they bitch about whatever bitching that they do, and then they try to actually think that, hi bitch, is an actual friend thing when all they do is bitch. And so, you know, don't know how anybody could ever be surprised that I didn't really seek out <laughs> um, hanging out with any biological females in that area. You know, they know themselves and I, just am not one who fluffy sugarcoats crap. Yeah, so, you know, they had an issue with the tone of my voice and it didn't matter what I said. I didn't even have to swear for them to have an issue. So I could talk very softly like this and then they would, are you making fun of me? No, 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 I can make fun of you though. I do know how to do that. Don't push me because if I start making fun of you, <laughs> don't push me in that direction because mm, <laughs> you think you know how people are from New Jersey. <laughs> no, you don't. 
you especially don't know how people are in the five boroughs. Mm -hmm. Because if you think you know how people are from New Jersey, those five boroughs are, uh, it don't matter. 1980s, 1990s, then you had Pittsburgh and Philly. <laughs> I can make you cry. <laughs> hurt you so badly as far as your feelings because you actually have like really 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 sensitive ones all i would have to do is literally just look at you and i could make you cry you remind me of my biological mother so i could handle that i could make a bitch cry like that like you don't know don't go and push that button. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Stirring up needless drama like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't practice for that either. <laughs> no matter what you might try, <laughs> I guarantee you I'll bring a whole bunch of tears to your eyes. Oh, I promise. I promise. And depending on... <laughs> Whether you're on my good side or my bad side. Well, I guess it depends what type of tears that might come from your eyes. It might be tears of laughter or it might be tears of sadness. And if it's tears from sadness, well, probably because you're a sad, sorry, sack of shit. <laughs> that's not my fault. That's yours because your choices. My opinion, though. Mm-hmm. So I gave warnings to a bunch of people and <clears throat> they didn't believe me how they were in Carrollton, Texas. Even scuba divers didn't believe me. And it's like, no, 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 this. But then again, some of those scuba divers were like, oh, this is such luxury. Maybe they thought it was luxury for them to be spending time with me in comparison. <laughs> Like, sure, sure, that was fine. It was enjoyable, but I still had work to do. That's the thing, is I still had work to do. And so, yeah, I enjoyed the time. I enjoyed some of the discussions, but the needless drama, no, no, that was not fun. I did not have any fun whatsoever. So while they accused me of that, well, I don't know. I mean, they technically did have the luxury of scuba diving with me because, well, <laughs> I am who I am as far as the um, beings regarding the waters. So that is as it is. It's, it's, it's a very, so, you know, even in the freshwater areas, yeah, you, you kind of did have luxury scuba diving with me <laughs> whether or not they realized it at the time mm -hmm. yeah 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 but i didn't rub it in then it was just one of those why are you arguing about me in regards of scuba diving and this is they i you know it's just one of those i had work to do and i'm i'm an extremely serious individual so when i have work to do it's i have work to do and it's not in any offense at all. It literally isn't, but because of other factors, it is what it is. So then you have, when I got into modeling, because of how certain things went, okay? So if my son and my daughter then dealt with that on top of those other factors, it's just one of those, you know, <laughs> I would really like to just not have a bunch of needless stress. And so, and actually being a mom to my son and my daughter in person, face to face in person was best for me as well as best for them. In comparison to other people who thought higher of themselves in comparison. So then there was the moves and everything like that. And I made attempts to give warnings because of a multitude of factors. Again, in my journal blog, the Ornery PSA during the update timeframe of 2019, especially into 2020, those particular situations as to Carrollton, Texas, McCoy Elementary School, Carrollton, 
Farmers Branch Independent School District, those factors, yeah, yeah, they were really problematic in a lot of capacities as per the proof. So then you have 2011 and all of that. And, you know, it, again, just, you know, there's nothing luxurious of having to move after move after move after move. That's not luxury. Luxury is being capable to actually have comfort in a location that is actually comfortable, that is actually preferred. In comparison, I don't need somebody else's opinion as to what they think that I deserve in comparison. I don't need that. So those types of feminazi, sexist, machismo types and bigoted aspects, you don't know what I'm working on. And if you don't ask me, I don't need to tell you because it's none of your business anyway. And it doesn't matter if you're in the business, I don't care. I didn't ask you to get involved with anything. You weren't invited. Again, you got 2005 where I could have been done. Then you have 2009 where I could have, and then 2011 and on and on and on. And so if those types didn't involve themselves in comparison, or if they wanted to, if they just asked in comparison to inviting themselves without an invitation, you know, some people, if you were to move up from the South to New Jersey and pull half the crap that occurred, I guarantee you, you would understand certain reasons why certain laws are the way they are. <laughs> Which I would guesstimate <clears throat> certain laws became the way they were because of certain types of those people. My biological father would probably be the best for that particular reference as to <clears throat> certain situations as far as that. You know, certain types that moved because of wherever and then, you know, they thought that they had a right to things that they didn't have a right to and then all of those privacy laws and so on and so forth in comparison and you know those types just understand where your boundary is and if you think you have a right to something you better you better see whether or not you actually do because a one-time situation is not a free-for-all that does not translate to you being allowed to do that each and every time just say that stirs up needless problems in comparison to actually being a way to relax with everything that has already been as to those particular factors it's literally just been one thing after another and with as much work it is a lot of work and so i've been doing everything i could to to take care of what is needed to be taken care of and so all of these situations. So then there's 2012, after 2011, and, and Irving and all those situations and so on and so forth. 2012 and all those factors and every, and, and just one thing after another. And it was just a domino effect, literally. It was a domino situation from the time frame of Carrollton, Texas. If they did not choose to be the way they had, but they probably already had a prior pattern of behavior of stirring up needless drama in comparison to what would actually, you know, people that move to small towns probably just want to be capable to relax in comparison. You know, they, they usually move to a smaller town so that way they don't have to deal with certain things. And so when certain factors of individuals who get all whatever, whatever, they literally moved there to relax in comparison. And so, you know, that sort of stuff, you know, give them like a few months to acclimate before you bombard them needlessly. 
especially when they're coming from a different area and on top of all the other stuff. Like, have human decency. So, you know, my personal opinion from my personal experiences. So then there's 2013 and all those factors as far as the Cowboys Dance Hall and Stoney LaRue concert and then the San Antonio Family Court and everything else that I additionally had warned people about as to what I was dealing with. And a bunch of them thought I was joking. A bunch of them didn't take me seriously in comparison because of whatever they had already heard. So in regards of my biological mother and or biological little sister, keep in mind, my biological mother and my biological little sister only had three people that they actually knew on an in-depth basis to a degree in the entirety of New York City. Sure, my biological mother knew that, an ent she knew that, listen to the words, my biological mother knew that an entire floor of people that she had once known were capable to escape the World Trade Center tower because they had been practicing for a few years just in case an airplane flew into the tower. Didn't know them personally. However, there's that. She knew that less than three days after the 11th of September in 2001. Didn't have any more of a direct, my biological little sister only knew three people the other factor of my biological mother in that comparison, three people compared to my biological father and I. My biological father and I, we went walking. We, he would park the car or the van, well, the van usually, if we went up, depending on the time frame, nonetheless. And, and then we would walk to go to wherever you know, such as my buck gong and my buck poos. Or we would, go, Anna and Patricia didn't like going to see my cousin Jade. The only time my biological little sister saw what would be considered our cousin, but it's my cousin Jade, was for two different events. One was a wedding and one was Jade's birthday. Other than that, I spent time with Jade. That was my cousin. Yes, biologically related, but Patricia didn't ever want to spend time in Harlem, New York City to spend time with family. She didn't have any comfort there because she didn't like what she saw in comparison to paying attention to just family. So that was her problem that she projected needlessly. So, you know, instead, those are those factors to additionally take in consideration to that 20 year, what I call memorial in comparison to what she most likely has called an anniversary. Because why would she ever call it a memorial if she didn't know anybody? Or the limited number of, in comparison, people that are, would be in her grade. She didn't graduate high school till 2004. So who would she know personally that would have been old enough, comparison to me, in the year of 2001? I graduated in the year of 2000. That lets you know makes a big difference. So in comparison, you know, so then my son and I, after the Sony the Root concert, all that stuff, and not anything of any worth actually getting done correctly because of all these other situations in comparison, then 
there was Arizona, as far as what I've already brought forward, and then there was Washington State. So in August or September of 2013, get to Vancouver, Washington, and it's like, okay, very confused because it looks just like New Jersey mixed with Pennsylvania and New York State. The energetic aspects, so on and so forth. And a bunch of people did take me seriously because if they actually had, that wouldn't have occurred. Over and over, each and every situation, if people had actually taken me seriously from the starting point and actually asked me in comparison to whatever their assumptions, so many other situations would not have become the way they did. If they would have spoken with me in truth, so many situations would not have been as problematic. So in comparison to actually having common sense to just speak with me in truth, I dealt with all of that on top of everything. So in regards of when I started modeling, if McCoy Elementary School had a bunch of people that showed up that annoyed my daughter and my son, and were like, you know, oh, Lady Dory Bell and all that, and they didn't know. They were not informed. Not every parent goes over everything. It just, this is what's wrong with certain people. This is why you are supposed to ask one person, which that one person in every situation has always been me. It has not ever been for anybody. There is no right, there is no authority, there is no allowance to speak with my son or my daughter about my modeling. There is no right or allowance to speak with my son or my daughter about my scuba diving. That was not ever allowed. That is not a right, that is not an amendment, that is not a constitutional situation, because when they don't have that knowledge, why would you be so ignorant? You have one person to ask, and that one person has always been myself. No, it's not the by proxy good enough. No, it's not. Absolutely not. I know some might wish. I didn't allow that on purpose. Just for clarifications, for some of those pop culture types, you know, those who wish that it be good enough. No, I closed that door through my own work because I was not going to allow that, no matter what anybody wished. So I closed that because that was not allowed. You know those types that would think of my son and my daughter as low hanging fruit. No, I wouldn't allow that. And then there's that factor of think about that thought process as to those types. No, not allowed. I, I did write about it in finding a silver lining. And so no, because I didn't get to actually teach my son and teach my daughter because of other people thinking they had a right that they didn't have whether it's my biological mother and or my biological little sister and or my biological father and or my ex-in-laws. No, 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 no. I did my own protections regarding that. So with each and every factor, that's the way it went. They weren't allowed that because of those people who thought they knew anything. I clarified that and and it's been for a few years as to having put that in writing regarding finding a silver lining. You can go to my book section. 
on my website, www.susanbeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. And you can click for the link to purchase the books through Amazon for my profits, for my choices. So yeah, no, I didn't allow that. While some may have wished, well, you'd be capable to tell. So no, that hasn't been allowed, ever, at all. My choice, because nobody was going to make a decision on that except for me. I'm a bit of a protective mom. So, in those references, then I wound up in Washington State with my son. And so any connections to any of those needless problems, just keep that in mind. And remember, 2004, San Antonio Backyard, 1999, Indiana. Childhood, my teenage years, 2011, Irving, Texas. Just remember. So in 2013, deal with this sort of stuff, and I start seeing this. I hadn't ever seen a spirit that way before, so I didn't know if he was fresh or anything like that because of certain factors, and then the area of the physical stuff, because anybody who would have common sense wouldn't need that explained unless they were just purely ignorant this entire time. And so in those, and or if it was to purposefully cause needless drama, well then there's those factors as well. Intentions matter. But thankfully in the year 2019 and 2020 through CID, I clarified my own memory with just one situation, which goes into those types as to the length of time, as to those needless problems. So you don't get to stir up needless problems and then pretend that you're some sort of what have you because you stirred up needless problems to begin with. There were these problems like that in the 1980s and 1990s in the tri-state area where some people didn't think it was that big of a deal because they thought that they could get away with certain things as technology developed. It was to counteract those types for certain types of situations. Because in New York City, there were a bunch of people who got really tired of these Southerners and these Midwesterners and Californians that would go out to New York City, stir up needless crap, and then go and, oh, look at this, and so on and so forth, in comparison to paying attention to what they were doing, which they knew what they were doing. They just didn't ever think they were gonna get caught, and they did. And so those particular situations, Washington state is not the same as the state of Texas. However, remember I was born and raised in New Jersey. So those particular laws automatically regarding me being a sponsor, one and only one in comparison as far as my blue ID. So, it's just facts. And my background doesn't transfer. My knowledge, I can assist with some things, but my understanding and my comprehension, that doesn't transfer. 
what I read as a child, what I studied as a child, what I trained in regards of, that doesn't transfer at all. That doesn't transfer. I know some might wish, but it doesn't transfer. And so in those wishful thoughts, in that hypothetical, so then up in Washington State, I was asked about modeling and it was, I, I have too much going on right now. I literally have to do all this writing. I have all of this stuff to do. I wound up in Washington State after telling all of these people, if I ever were moved out of the state of Texas, you have the biggest red flag. You better get your shit together immediately. And if you hesitate, you are going to regret it because of everything else that I already warned you about. Not of my stuff. No, 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 no. Of what I made attempts to clarify. But because of those types of that needless drama, because they thought they knew. And they had absolutely no idea whatsoever. So, made attempt after attempt after attempt. And then there was the spirit I saw and he kept yelling Nottingham. It's not Britain. This is the United States of America. Just that. And so I remembered New Jersey, obviously. So there's my New Jersey flag, the American flag. And so I just remembered hearing Washington all the time. And it was, oh yeah, General George Washington. Didn't really fully, fully, fully like 100% put together that I was in Washington state because it was near the border. So, you know, Oregon and Washington and stuff like that. So because of probably it would be those cognitive disorders, you know, for those types that stirred up needless drama that they did not ever have authority to do so. They did not have any authorization legally to do so. Emancipated twice. Get the memo. Accept it. Just say. And so these situations as far as having visions, again, I've explained this before. I've been capable to see since I was a child. And so I've made attempt after attempt. And by that point in time, I just gave up believing in anybody at all. Anybody that I once knew in person, face to face in person, I just lost hope. I didn't believe because in order for that to actually be, people would speak with me in truth and genuinity. So then the way the situations went as far as that apartment complex, and all the other situations. I spoke with some people I once knew in person, face to face in person, and those situations went the way they did. So I went and started typing because I needed to get it taken care of. Because unlike some other people, I didn't have the luxury of hesitating the way they had. I didn't have the luxury of needless drama the way they had. I didn't have any luxury, to be quite honest, despite their assumptions as to those bigoted types, which if that includes my biological mother and my biological little sister, I wouldn't be surprised as to the 2008 election, because literally described it as far as the before Thanksgiving, though it was called a Thanksgiving dinner. So, you know, as bigoted as they were then, proven through time. So, those particular factors as to those situations. So, I saw all of these different creatures <laughs> in a multitude of ways, 
and made attempts where I could. So I had emailed HUD housing in the area. I had emailed the apartment complex office. I had made phone calls as to attempts. I did similarly, similarly to in Washington state as to throughout the state of Texas. But if people weren't so childish, if they were actually mature in comparison, so all of these needless problems over and over again in comparison to being a mature individual instead of a child that grew up biologically to an adult but remained a child. Because nobody that was actually mature, no matter what age, would be so childish. So, you know, I dealt with the Pam and Jason Pam, I didn't really have a problem with. I, when I swept the stairs from the snow, it was, you know, I put kitty litter down because it was better for the bikes regarding the children that were living in the apartment complex because in comparison to the other stuff, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I know exactly how that stuff impacts metal. So kitty litter, all it does is you, essentially wash it off. You just kind of spray it down. And then it also has a little bit of a gleam. So that way it's actually a protective coating in comparison and you don't have to worry about rusting as, but it is a bit messy. It is what it is, but it does as it does. And the type of kitty litter that I, it is what it is. But I'd sweep and, and take care of the pathway because it was just the right thing to do not a relative of mine, but I knew that the snow that I was sweeping off the stairs so that way my son could go to school and all those factors and making sure that the ice wasn't a problem, you know, did what I could to make sure that that wasn't because I saw where the snow had fallen more. It just made sense to me. So took care of that. And then all of the, so in Best Buy in Clackamas, Oregon, had taken a laptop to Geek Squad for the accidental warranty program. And when there were certain things that were discussed, I wrote about this in Finding a Silver Lining, which is in the book section for the link to purchase through Amazon on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. All of the sensor alarms went off in the Best Buy. I had to actually be assisted to walk out of the Best Buy because of the sirens all, every one of them went off. It wasn't just like one or two. It was every one of, if I remember, it was all of the cell phones. All of them went off at the same time. The alert systems for those who have worked at Best Buy know what I'm talking about. Each and every one of them, all of them went off at the same time. And, it, it, and they did not stop. That so how my son and I wound up in Washington State, he was in the Geek Squad area of Best Buy, I think for 20 minutes after I went outside with my son. And he said that it was still going off the entire time, as far as all of those individual electronic doohickey mabobs, which I told people I had issues with technology ever since waking up from my coma. I had certain, I usually, it was usually static electricity, but not the same, not the same since waking up from my coma. And so this was part of the warnings that I told people about as to those particular factors and so on and so forth. It got so bad in Washington state, I had waxed or had it waxed in regards of the um, hairstyle above my ears because it was that bad. The entire length of hair was electric, it just zapped the whole time. And then, you know, each follicle, my scalp, so on and so forth, it wasn't anything fun for me at all, obviously. 
That's why I had it. Why it was less, just think, it was less painful to have the sides of my head waxed each week than deal with the zapping each and every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks in a year, 365 days, while being up in the Tacoma area. And so, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I dealt with what I dealt with and then made as best as I could as to the situations. But in Vancouver, there were these, so there was the, where essentially the Montana vortex is, I saw certain energetic swirls where essentially Anacortes is as to Roche Harbor, I saw those particular factors in that area in reference to what's, I think it's called Newcastle or um, it's where the Temple of Power is. I had seen those particular energetic aspects. In regards of the area of the Pacific, apparently I had seen quite a bit of stuff coming out of the oceanic water areas. Same thing with the Columbia River and all of these things as far as in the sky. And I have seen this before. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I've clarified and verified as best as I can from the years of 2019 into 2020 and 2021 and 2022, which is this year. And in reference to what I dealt with as a child and a teenager in New Jersey and then teenager-ish in Illinois to that particular factor, it was stuff that I had seen but not had seen because it was quite confusing to me. I've seen stuff before. I haven't ever seen it that way. And so I made attempts similarly as in Texas in regards of this is what I see. Do you have any idea what this is? Because I haven't ever seen it. There was a silver car. It was a darker silver, a dark, dark gunmetal color. And it had a dark, deep blue letters regarding sheriff. And then there was a yellow line in each of the letters. The, and it, it kind of looked similar to a mercury sable mixed with a Honda Civic from the 1990s as far as the style of vehicle. So it had more of the nose of the Honda Civic, had more of the rear of the Mercury Sable mixed with the Honda Civic because of the size, medium size. And then the doors kind of had a little bit of a, it was more, so like the rear door was more like the Mercury Sable but the front door was more like the Honda Civic from the side view. And I made, I sent emails, didn't understand what I had been seeing. I didn't even go into any of the other stuff because it was like, I, there's this guy or this spirit that I had never seen this level of screaming Nottingham. And so I couldn't verbalize and be like, now this is the United States of America. So what I did was go and get my New Jersey flag on a flagpole and my American flag. <laughs> and then I had to walk the perimeter at certain points in time during the day and night because I was watching this little, I don't know what, as far as what it was called. I had never seen that before. It was just, I don't uh, I mean, mm -mm, never mind as far as burns regarding um that graduation ceremony for tammy and david's well tammy's son david's stepson in regards to that in 2010 forget what you heard as far as that type of walking that was nothing compared to what was going on with this because i was seeing all sorts of di different situations the lack of better wording is ufo or uap and i'm literally at seeing this sort of stuff it's like okay so i've gotten no, this is not Nottingham, Britain. This is the United States of America, as far as the spirit that I had seen randomly getting in and out of the purple Honda CRV. And that, and that was usually in the evening hours. In the daytime hours, I'd see him around the fountain area and just kind of really weirdly looking at Pam.
I did not understand that. And then in regards to Jason, usually just not a yeah, this is the United States of America. So, you know, I couldn't really explain this that level of at the time. And it's it's very difficult being capable to see, you know, and then make attempts to explain. Really is. Because, you know, people don't apparently some people have been researching some stuff more however what year they started doing that and so i'm walking the perimeter because i've seen stuff that has in different capacities so in certain days i see you know this is not united kingdom or this is not britain this is the united states of america this is not nottingham britain get that and then you know the stuff in the sky as far as that's concerned i've taken pictures and videos and different references for decades at this point and so i'm walking the perimeter i i got permission from the front office because it's like you know no that's fine i'll put this little bamboo screen up so that way i can ninja camo ish because i'm seeing this stuff over here i'm seeing this stuff over here and it's like if i have to I don't need some people pay. I, I, I will just handle business I will, because I have dealt with this before. And so it's just one of those, okay, I've seen that before. I haven't seen that. I, I'll acknowledge out from the equivalent of the afterglow, I have never seen anything like that before. And I've seen a lot. And so it's just, okay, no, I'll, t I'll t take care of that. In regards of Bellingham, I saw some stuff as far as energetic stuff. It's how do I explain this to people? How do I, who do I discuss this with? Oh, you know what? Well, I'll, what, <laughs> let me make attempts because, you know, at this point I had no idea what else to do. Then, then at some point in time, after some stuff regarding Jason, more so than Pam, then I have Zippy that shows up, which I hadn't seen Zippy in a while because usually she she was in my VW uh, Beetle, my Bumblebee car. So Zippy showed up. Zippy starts, for lack of better words, she starts having all sorts of stuff that she has to say and it's okay. <laughs> and so I have all this stuff going on. And on top of that, I'm in comparison to where I'm supposed to be. This is what's going on. And where in comparison to what would actually be beneficial and assistive to me, I got all sorts of anything except. So, you know, not that I don't know if anybody actually would. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so I have Zippy. And so Zippy is now instead of my VW Beetle Bumblebee car at the time with the black convertible top and black leather interior, you know, yellow exterior with the glitter eyelashes and flower petal taillight covers. I have Zippy. <laughs> and you know, it's just, all right, well, you know, okay. That's fine. All right, cool. You know, and then, you know, I, in comparison to my car, I can't pronounce whatever. So I start in the middle of typing up, finding a silver lining. No, 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 let me go into this. While typing, finding a silver lining and typing, finding the silver lining, preparing to work on other books that all would have been written in the time frame of 2005 initially for most aspects, 2009 through 2011, and would have been finished by then. No, 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 now in the year of 2013 starting into 2000, I'm dealing with authoring and compiling, finding a silver lining, finding the silver lining, organizing pictures that I had wanted to have digitalized for myself, and then, you know, dealing with all this other stuff. Then Zippy shows up, but then I can't pronounce Zippy's name, so I start typing that. So I have to go and click, do all this extra, and it's, it's a bit annoying. It's a bit 
smidgen annoying. So then at a certain point, I'm like, okay, well, what do I do now? <laughs> because who do I take these documents to as far as this is concerned to it? Who do I take these black typewriter tapes to? Who do I take these white, you know, the white, the white, out thing with the little orange scrolls. Who do I take that to as far as that's concerned? What, you, and then these pieces of paper. Who do I take this to? Because this is ridiculous at this point. And so then some of Zippy's friends showed up and then, no, that's fine. No, I have nothing better to do than do dictation right now. No, that's fine. No, I have all of this other stuff. Let me go and do, no. And so, well, it might, I can understand how it w could be misconstrued in a few capacities. You know, there's a few situations that I have clarified and verified as best as I could. And I have done the best that I could. And so while I haven't really discussed the factors as to space factors, because of my childhood, I didn't bother really going into much detail on that. Remember, I didn't grow up watching anything pretty much other than Disney. And yeah, okay, there's Sailor Moon I watched. I don't deny that. And yet, they don't look like that. So, at all, whatsoever. Then, and situations I was dealing with is before ever actually watching Sailor Moon. For that clarification. That's, I didn't find out about Sailor Moon until fourth or fifth grade, I think. And so I had been having situations well before kindergarten, as far as those particular factors. Same thing is to not just the backyard in New Jersey, though then you also have the oceanic waters regarding the Atlantic area of the ocean. And then you have Old Tenet Presbyterian Church and some of the factors there. And then in 1994, there was a solar eclipse. And so there was those situations. And so <laughs> it's just constant, constant. Just <laughs> really was a bit much at that particular, I mean, it's, it still is. Nonetheless. <laughs> while taking care of as much as I could take care of, you know, cause why would anybody just ask me and, you know, be truthful in that capacity? No, that was, that just was as it was. And so just went to go take care of stuff then because of the way things went with Jason and Pam and all that, then had to go and move again because, you know, in comparison to just, common sense. So then during the updates as to my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com, in the years of 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022, you also have my book section through my website with the links to Amazon to purchase for my profits for me to use the finances of. And then you have where, all right, well, I'm already in Washington state. There's all this stuff. I already was going to, and I originally was going to begin my Medal of Honor art project artwork in the state of Texas. But, you know, instead, because maybe there's something that I can actually get done correctly and actually have assistance correctly in comparison to what occurred, because then you have the modern day book, as far as that's concerned, because you know, if in any capacities of accuracy, nobody was ever invited on my trips. Because again, similarly to my scuba diving, similarly to every aspect that is just my stuff, um, one person to ask, just one. No one else to ask about my stuff, no one, just one, it's just me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no matter how many people might wish otherwise, just one person to ask, and that's me, only me. Apparently too difficult for people to figure that out. You know, I didn't think it was that difficult. It's kind of common sense, but you gotta be honest. 
And so, you know, I don't play games needlessly. I'm very direct and to the point. Though if you approach me and you lie to me straight from the start, then I'm not going to play your game. If you try hinting or whatever in that comparison, I'm not going to waste my time. I will still be truthful, but I will not just whatever. It's just the facts. So instead of what would actually be assistive for me, instead of what would actually be best for me, a bunch of other ignorant individuals, in my opinion, stirred up a bunch of needless drama some more, because as I've already clarified, in comparison to what would have actually been the best don't need certain things. And if you think I do, how about this? Why don't you ask me? Why don't you actually have that common courtesy? Why don't you actually have that common sense? Instead of asking anybody that would not get it correct. Because in comparison regarding my updates to my journal blog, the Ornery PSA in 2019, 2020, and 2021, anything that is major that my biological mother and or my biological little sister most specifically could not know or did not have the answer to, automatically, that's all you needed to know. However, instead, situations went the way they did. And so all those needless, I gave warnings, and so I made attempts, and then 2015 into, or well, there's 2014 into 2015, and yes, I saw all sorts of stuff. Why would I speak with anyone about anything? regarding except for a few things here and there. Why would I waste my time? Why would I bother? What would there be of a reason at that point in time? In realistic aspects, still truthful, brought things forward, but why would I bother? So if needless games in comparison to being mature, well, I don't have patience for childish garbage. I don't care which biological age is, if you are going to play games needlessly, I don't have patience for that. Period and end of story. I don't find anything appropriate about that whatsoever. So in those references as to, again, the amount of work, well fine, in 2018, all that stuff occurred. Then 2019, all right, well, I have this, I had this vision. You might want to take in consideration. So, okay, if you choose to, all you got to do is speak with me in truth. It's all you got to do. And so made the attempts, drove all the way back, went to directly to the civilian recreational scuba diver sector, you know, the lazy area and stuff like that. And in comparison, well, you got 2019 and 2020, as well as the three volume book series, The Adventures of Susan Meelig Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, the links to pay for such through Amazon for my profits on my website www.susanmealing.com which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com and again as I already put in writing no one has the right to discuss my work in the water because nobody has the capability to at all no one can answer any question honestly about my scuba diving at all because the only thing that they can answer a question about is what they did that's it they cannot speak in truth about my scuba diving 
unless they actually saw me in truth. If they did not, then they did not. So it also depends on their scuba diver mask. Because if they want to try to say out of the peripheral vision, what color is the peripheral vision of their scuba dive mask? If it is colored in any capacity, they had no peripheral vision unless they have actual proven, such as second grade and all that, sight. If they don't, they don't count. And even still, it does not change the facts as to my work being my work. Experiences matter. Background checks matter. All that stuff absolutely matters. That invitation to Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment, that matters. That's one of the bigger important factors. Growing up, going out to the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters, and certain areas of New York State to the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters, yeah. Oh, that really matters. That's a, that's a big deal. There's, there's no dry suit to that scuba dive. That was my Farmer John wetsuit. Was not any other scuba dive wet gear regarding if so. If anybody thought that I used a dry suit, nope. I used my Farmer John wetsuit. That was it. And so gotta have a certain background. Then you actually have to be strong enough. And if you don't have certain strength regarding the oceanic waters, well, if you grow up swimming in a pond or a lake or go into a pool, don't bother. Better be truthful. You don't want to break the laws of the ocean. Not that that wouldn't be intelligent. That'd be stupid. Don't want to violate those laws, which are very simple. They are the Ten Commandments. And so in regards of, um, you don't ever break those Ten Commandments regarding the laws of the ocean. It's really important, especially uh, with as many warnings as I've given. And so there's those facts. And laws of the ocean are similar to laws of space, obviously. So there's those particular factors as well. And um, so it's just the facts. And you only learn in regards of uh, my style in person, face to face in person. You don't get to learn that through anybody else. They can't teach you my scuba diving at all. They also don't have my permission to. That's the other factor. It's really, really important to pay attention to. That's a in-person, face-to-face, in-person discussion. And if those aspects aren't met, well, that's, that's not my problem, that's, a, that's your risk you take. That's how that goes. And it's a very high risk. I haven't hidden that, but you have to sign a waiver just to earn one scuba diving certification. So, you know, if other people falsely represent themselves, they haven't ever been given permission because they don't know what to actually teach. Just for clarifications, don't make the mistake of my official YouTube videos. No, no, no. There's so much more, obviously. And so, I mean, all you have to do is look at when I published after authoring the Adventures of Susan Milang Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, three volume book series. 
As to that, to the updates to my journal blog, Thornary PSA through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. In addition to that, you have to take in consideration my official YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe and like my official YouTube videos. Share the links to my official YouTube videos. And if you're going to leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. Very particular about, well again, I alphabetized CDO regarding OCD. So, it's only three letters. So I'm a bit particular. And um, I've made attempts repeatedly, I've reached out, I've gone directly to, I went up to individuals, made attempt after attempt. So 2019, in regards of, you know, the civilian recreational lazy scuba divers, yeah, those people, yeah, no, they didn't get my approval. They haven't ever had my approval in regards of my scuba diving. Don't be ignorant and think any other aspects of. That's wishful thinking. That's breaking Ten Commandments, which are laws of the ocean and laws of space. And so, you know, those particular factors. There's no permissions that have ever been granted because of how it's actually my work. And so nobody would ever be allowed to teach my work. They wouldn't know where to actually start for someone who didn't have my background. They wouldn't know where that would be. See, it's, that's why it's called The Adventures. It's in the name. The Adventures of Susan B. Lang, Scuba Diver Extraordinary. It's in the name. Mm hmm It's not the instruction manual. No. No, 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 no. It's not the instruction manual for scuba diving. No, no, that's the adventures of Susan B. Ling, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire. As far as the three volume book series. Yeah. So, you know, huge difference. It's in the name of the books. It's not difficult. It's literally in the title. And so, you know, I made attempts to actually invite people, but they didn't have any need, apparently, because if they had the need to do so, then we would have had a discussion about it correctly in 2019. But since that didn't occur, I just authored and compiled the adventures of Susan B. Lee, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire. not the instruction manual of how to. That title work, <laughs> sometimes those titles actually are important and sometimes they're not, especially when it comes to actually being in the oceanic waters. <laughs> certain titles do matter, but uh, they don't have certain factors that some people might think. So since I haven't ever been asked, ever, you know, in that etiquette standard, that common sense factor of in-person, face-to-face, in-person, and genuine truth, all this that you, I made multiple attempts. And so apparently there's nobody that I have ever met or ever known in person, face to face, in person that's ever been interested in that. And so if they actually were there, they would actually speak with me in person, face to face, in person with etiquette and respect and actually be in truth and ask in truth or they would contact me with that and it would have to be in truth. So, is as it is, that's, just how it's been. So I've clarified and verified where I could. 
And so I figured I'd complete this official YouTube video of mine. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my official YouTube videos, share the links to my official YouTube videos. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. There's my journal blog, The Ordinary PSA. There's my book section where you can click for the links to purchase through Amazon for my profits. And uh, there's the artwork that I've been working on different ones. So there's my charity artwork in reference to my Medal of Honor art project, which I have explained certain factors. And then there's other art pieces that I have completed. And I made attempts to actually do things in the ways which I would actually appropriately group them together. However, since that wasn't ever asked of me, well then, there's that problem regarding those types who have needed to take accountability for their stupidity, because that's their responsibility, in my opinion, respectfully. Today is the 1st of July, 2022. It's Friday, and so I did make what attempts I could to explain to the apartment complex company as well as where I could as far as Jason and Pam and then there was Sapphire where I made attempts to explain and so on and so forth. I didn't bother at that time regarding my journal blog because I just, I didn't, I was working on so much. And so since there wasn't any assistance to me where it would actually be ideal because nobody ever asked. And see, there's no chivalry if you don't ask me. That's just how it is because that's just the reality. What some people consider luxury is just as different in comparison to what some people consider as chivalry. And so what I consider as chivalry, similarly to what I consider as luxury, is extremely different than what some people might think. So that's why you have to actually ask me, because that's chivalry to ask me with etiquette and respect because that's the only way you could appropriately be anticipatorily. Otherwise, you would just think. And that's fine, you can think, except you should probably know what to actually think about in comparison to assuming. So, you know, those needless problems regarding Carrollton, Texas, those needless problems regarding the biological connections to my son and my daughter. And so those needless problems of assumptions. So, you know, um, the modern day book might be a little bit apropos at this particular point in time. You guys have a good day. I'm done with that rhyme. One June, July, 2022.